it. This hole right here just came from a tank that arrived in Aniston. They took the whole thing apart, and now they gotta sandblast it. Every bit of rust, paint, grit, damage, everything. And how do you get all of that off of the tank? Talk to this man right here. Jackie? I'm Danny. Tell me how are you gonna clean the hull of this tank? We're gonna suspend it in the blast chamber. We'll turn it up vertical, strip it down complete. Look like a brand new baby when it comes out. So basically, hang this thing up in the air and just wreck it. Just shoot it at all sides. Tear it up. Let's clean this puppy off. Oh, yeah. Let's go. Let's do it. So Derek, how do we get a 20-ton horizontal hull vertical? Using his remote right here. The power of the remote? Yeah. You got 20 tons in your hands right now. Exactly. You got to feel kind of tough in a moment like this. Makes you feel a little macho. Doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Now that we've gotten the whole vertical, Derek's going to center it and send it in for blasting. Oh, so I see there's a tiny hole right there where the chains let you get this thing in there. Yeah. All right, so, so she's in, ready for blasting. Last yeah. step is just to close the doors. May I? Sure. Here we go. Next time you see that tank, it's gonna look like the Tin Man. Coming up, the stunning results. Wow. Back at Aniston Army Depot, this 20-ton Abrams hull is about to get stripped clean inside this enormous blast chamber. It's on, you can hear it. Right now, behind those blue doors is absolute mayhem. A 20-ton hull is hanging in the air, spinning around, with 10 nozzles firing stainless steel shot, ripping everything off of its skin. Each pellet of shot is about one millimeter in diameter. This minute size leaves the hull with an incredibly smooth finish. So Jackie, if they were any bigger and they were hitting the hull, they'd actually be doing damage and yes. tearing up the steel? Do damage to it and would cause it to be a rough finish. We wanted a smooth finish for when it's back to painting. It looks all smooth, good to put back to our troops in the field. So just to be clear, the hull has been hanging inside of there for how long now? 90 minutes. 90 minutes. Let's bring it out. Wow. There is not a single bit of paint, rust, dirt, anything. I mean, it is just bald. You Clean to the metal. One more giant step in the resurrection of a mighty Abrams tank.